Hello, young adults of First Lutheran Church in Bemidji. How are you doing? What a crazy month and a half it's been. It feels like it's been an eternity since I've been able to see you guys last and really be able to catch up with you. And I know for me, it's done something I've been really missing. I miss talking with and enjoy interacting with you guys. And it's been really hard for me as I've been trying to figure out how to keep up with everything that's still going on here at church and being a part of that, but also just missing communicating with these amazing, wonderful young adults we have here at first. So as I was going to kind of do a catch up video, kind of catching up on what we've done and then some potential things that we can look at doing still together as we're in this shelter in place and we're still separated. So. Uh, first, I figured I'd just get, let you know a few things that I've been up to. First, the couches. I spent last Friday going through and cleaning the couches and a couple of the different chairs with a carpet cleaner. I wouldn't say they're perfect, but they're a lot better. As you can kind of see, there's actually a bit of a luster to these couches. And trust me, you don't want to know what color the, the water was when I pulled it out after cleaning these. They definitely needed that. For me, I have been in lots of Zoom meetings between here at church, being at tech study Zoom meetings, being at youth worker Zoom meetings, kind of touching base and trying to hear what different people are doing. How are we handling all this? I mentioned I cleaned the couches. I've been doing a lot of the video production. So I've been helping with the services on Wednesday and Sunday mornings, along with making confirmation videos and making sure those are still going up. And now that we started daily devotions, I had one of those go up this week. One of the things though I've been directly working on for you guys is I've been wanting to, for since pretty much I got here, figure out a way to be able to help students, especially entering even into freshman year, and how do you start preparing for life after college? It's one of the things from being a substitute teacher in my past, I feel like it's one of the biggest things that the school systems struggle with is really being able to give you that time and space. And especially with being the youth director here, I feel that that gives me a unique opportunity that we can talk about some different things that we couldn't talk about in a school setting and be able to get you into some deeper conversations and some start those hopefully earlier so that we can make sure that you're making the best decision for you and your post high school plan. So that's been something I've been working on and trying to make some checklists and different things like that. And as that gets a little bit more polished, I'll probably show you guys and I'd love to hear some of your thoughts on that. Even you seniors, as you've made your decisions, if these would be good questions and things that would have been helpful in your process. One thing that I know I'm gonna bring up that just feels really awkward even to talk about is that 2021 we have the youth gathering in Minneapolis they are still planning on going forward with that they are still doing planning with that I personally have had a really hard time being able to even wrap my head around and trying to prepare for that especially in this when we're not able to be around each other when we're not able to be even in groups of more than 10 so, but it's still something that is on the docket end of June 29th, if I'm remembering correctly, through July 3rd in Minneapolis. So just keep that on the back burner. I'll keep you and give you information as I learn about it. And we can, I would love to hear of the students who are looking at that and seniors, sorry, but you can probably also encourage people. And, and I know some of you have already talked about who went on the Houston trip, how great that was. So here's what I'm thinking about. There's one of the things that I've been really feeling convicted about is how I haven't been able to reach out to you, the young adults up first and being able to really do something that's interactive for you. And I know a lot of you are in some type of school, be it high school or college, and that you're having a lot of assignments and Zoom meetings and different things like that. So I'm thinking about, there's a couple different options that I have that we can try and I'd love to hear your guys' suggestions on what we could do to make this so it doesn't feel like necessarily work, but a way that we could still touch base and interact with each other. So 
One that I did think about was a youth group Zoom and focus on that we'd be catching up and spending some time together. Also, I would try if we went that route to have some type of interactive game that we could still do on there. Focus a little bit more on connecting and doing faith building through connection that way than necessarily doing like a necessarily a Bible study unless that's something that you guys are wanting. The second one that I thought about was stump the youth director. So if there are faith questions or different questions that you would want to have, I know we had a couple meetings before this where we have about once a month kind of these open-ended questions and you guys could still send in some of those. I could see if I could do some research and different things from my background and pull some a video together on answering some of those questions. Uh, you could either text them or respond in the, in the YouTube comments or even shoot me an email with those. The other one, and again, it's totally optional. If you're wanting more of a, just even a one-on-one -on -one conversation, I'd love to do that either video or phone conversation, or even if you want to do pen pal type thing, I'd be open to that uh, to talk about life, college, my engagement, how I'm handling that. And if you want to talk about relationship stuff, faith, photo and video, or just anything in life, honestly, if there's something that you would want to talk about or just connect or being able to speak with someone who's other than your nuclear family that you're with at this point, I'd be totally open to doing that with you. So I'm just reaching out knowing that this has been something that it's been weighing on my heart a lot that I haven't been able to connect with you guys in the way that I've been wanting to. So I really hope that there's something in there that feels like something that would be great and most of you have my number or some way of contacting me the, my church email is on the website of the church so feel free to shoot me an email shoot me a text give me a call i'd love to talk to you and discuss some of these different things and i'm hoping to try doing this about once a week and try sending out a video for you guys once a week so let me know if this is something that works for you guys and let me know your thoughts i hope to hear from you soon i'll talk to you later bye